Asperger's and Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, or OCDs. I have some things I've written down about this one. I'm going to walk through them. I have a couple current things. I have that I don't like when people talk during my movies. I don't like that at all. And if I don't hear something in a movie, that's one thing. Um, sometimes there's like outside noise, like cars or something. But if it's going to be that somebody talks during a movie, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And I've had to rewind movies to see the part that I missed or whatever. I don't like people talking during my movies. There has to be silence during movies with someone I'm with. It's just how it has to be. I'm sorry, but this is how it has to be. And um, other people like to talk during movies and they make me crazy. I would walk out and watch the movie some other time with that kind of person or whatever. But anyway, um, so that's a current OCD. Another OCD is um, saving internet threads. Like if I really like a discussion, I'll save it. It doesn't matter that more than likely, and I think so far I've never looked at a single one of them over again, even though I've done it tons of times. The fact that I know that it's there somehow is comforting when I like that thread. I don't know why, but I feel like that's an OCD. And um, I'll tell you some that I used to have. If I didn't hear something in movies, I would say, what did he say and interrupt the movie just to figure out what the one line was. It made my family crazy, but it's like I couldn't help it. People that don't have OCDs or obsessive compulsive stuff don't realize that it's really a brain tick. It's as if your brain is making you do something that you don't even want to do. It's like your brain is making you do it. It's, it's not even really you. It's, it's complicated, but my family didn't get that. It really frustrated them. Eventually, I finally grew out of that. My friend was told enough times to quit doing that. Um, I used to underline words that were unfamiliar in books and circle the ones that like I'd never heard of that were like weird complicated ones and I'd also comment on the side and I would write way too much in my books and just went kind of nuts with it and I couldn't stop doing it and it took too much time and that lasted a while. I used to um, pick blackheads on my arm and I got like all this you know light layer like scar tissue on my left arm which eventually I rubbed enough cocoa butter in to make it go away when I finally figured out I could do that, somebody told me. Um, that's kind of an OCD, you know, fixation on like, oh, just one more, oh, just one more, whatever. Um, it's also like a, a physical movement tick. Um, Asperger's people have those too. Um, when I got a digital camera for the first time, this is weird, but I took pictures in shows that I liked off my TV, like tons and tons of tons and times of it. People I liked, scenery I liked, lots of, I mean, I took hundreds. It was ridiculous. I still have them, but I don't really care about them. That seems silly now. But, and that was not when I was a teenager. That was, what, 21, 22? But, um, and this is another one when I was 15. I would, like, say, I, I wanted to write something in my journal every day, and I might think if I didn't have time or didn't make time, I'd, like, write five different words down that would remind me of five different events that day. You know, so that I would kind of remember what happened that day, if that makes any sense. And um, an insecurity one, well, seen as an insecurity one when I was 15 was when I would double check that the person wanted to play this game, double check that this person actually wanted to sit next to me in a group, things like that. Now, this was seen as an insecurity thing. I didn't feel like it was an insecurity thing. For me, it just, it's like I always felt like I needed to double check things and give somebody a way out of certain situations. And, you know, people told me, you know, that's not cool not to do that. But they had a lack of understanding of OCDs and just, and just brain ticks and making you do things. And yes, there are medications that you can take. The medications may help you. The medications may make certain things worse. Um, I was taking medications for um, antidepressants and, and mood stabilizers at the time. I'd, I don't know if I could have mixed one anyway, but at the time I was crazy bipolar as well. So it wasn't exactly a priority. I had to wait for that to pass. That's all for that one.